All right. <clears throat> so, I had an idea a while back, and that was to put a different exhaust on this. So I made this thing. It's just a pipe. That's literally all it is. It's just a pipe that fits over this pipe pretty snugly. And I cut channels in the end so I could put a pipe clamp on it and clamp it down. So I already know how it sounds because I've tested it before. But I want to do this here because it sounds pretty sick. Obviously, it's a little bit loud for the neighborhood, but for testing purposes, it's pretty cool. So we'll start by removing our old one here. So it is kind of loose, unfortunately. But... Alright, we got it tightened up. <laughs> it's a little long, but that's pretty cool. Am I going to put the camera here for starting? Probably not. Although this is kind of a junk camera anyways. Here, I'll put it, I'll put it right here so we can get a good view. You know what, I'm going to jack this up so we can rev it. And it won't idle until it's warmed up. Not unless you put the choke on, but then it kind of revs up a little bit. Hear what it hear what it sounds like out here. much about exhaust tuning in fact I know pretty much nothing although I know like two strokes can benefit from a longer pipe and also an expansion 
chamber for getting uh, proper scavenging and and uh, <clears throat> different reason different things like that and bouncing shock waves back. I don't think this is doing any of that. It's just a straight pipe, although it does get a little bit bigger here, so I don't know what that does. And with a longer pipe, uh, it just <clears throat> it tends to and with a fatter pipe it amplifies the bass sounds more and you get more of the pipe reverberation and resonance because with a longer pipe it's like uh, a tuba or something more pipe equals more lower sound so I'm pretty sure that's how it works with this as well also with a straight pipe and no muffler the engine should perform better at high RPM because it can get slightly better airflow and have less resistance but I'll drive it around a little bit like it's slowing down towards the edge of the screen on the right but it's just because of the FOV of the camera summer it can get up to 80 90 degrees but in the winter it's can get into the negatives right now it's 40 something the air is denser when it's cold so you need more fuel I believe so I'm going to check the spark plug and see if it's if that's the case I'm impatient I don't want to wait for this to cool down so I'm just using a glove um, to me, well, if this thing would focus, uh, to me that looks really good. It's brown on top, it's brown right on top of the strap, and it's kind of black everywhere else, but it's not too dark. Uh, so I don't know why, maybe it doesn't need tuning, maybe it's too rich, I, I really don't know. I don't think it's too rich though. Because rich is when you get on the gas, it starts sputtering. Whereas this doesn't, it sputters when you let off the gas, and that's usually lean. So obviously this is not a permanent thing, this was just an experiment. Let me know if you thought it sounded cool. Also, if you have any idea of whether this thing is running, how this is running, I'd like to know as well. I think it's pretty good, just based on the spark plug. Eventually, I might want to, I definitely, eventually, I want to get a stage 2 kit for this. Put a, a beefy cam in it, and heavy valve springs, and a billet connecting rod, and a billet flywheel, and stuff like that, so you can get more RPM and better, better high RPM performance. But obviously, that's not to this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Alright, hopefully it'll sound better than that.